It's 10 trivia questions on photography, Caddyshack, cigars, and more for Stephen's birthday from John. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to a special episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and listening today and hitting subscribe so you never miss a new episode, which go out every Monday through Friday, 2,400 episodes for you to scroll through till your heart's content. And today's a special birthday episode, a dedicated custom quiz for my friend Stephen from John. John is a little late on your birthday, Stephen. He sent this to me uh, a couple weeks back and he said, just post it whenever. I already missed his birthday, but I wanted to honor him in a special way. And what better way than a custom trivia quiz? His message says, this is a special birthday episode for Stephen from John. Happy birthday for Stephen from his ginger bear. So there you go, Stephen, from your ginger bear. Enjoy today's quiz on all kinds of stuff you love from Three Amigos to photography to cigars and more. Before we dive into your special birthday quiz, Stephen, we have these four or five challenges for you to try and figure out. The Geek Out Challenge card says for today, name four films with the word night in the title. For television, two actors who have died while their show was on the air... For literature, four literary characters who can teleport. And for music, two songs by Kanye West. And for miscellaneous, two professional athletes who have become actors. There you go, the pop culture party card. That's a fun game called Geek Out. I want to give them a shout out. I use those cards to warm you guys up and found that fresh un used deck in my office here, unwrapped it, and reading those every day to kind of get you all amped up for the show. And we're ready for Stephen's birthday quiz from John right now. Here we go. All right, Stephen's big birthday bash quiz. Let's kick things off with a question about the 80s comedy classic Three Amigos. Number one, what singer-songwriter wrote the music and part of the film for the comedy film Three Amigos? credited as a writer and as the um, music composer for the film Three Amigos, number one. Who is that? Number one. Question number two. What is the two-letter stock symbol for Coca-Cola? Number two, what is the two-letter stock symbol for Coca-Cola? Number three, what camera company's D3X model used the slogan, the world is your studio? Number three, what camera company's D3X model used the slogan, the world is your studio? Number four, what is the only major that Sam Sneed did not win in his golf career? Number four, what's the only major that Sam Sneed did not win in his career? Number five, who had the hit 60s country song, She Thinks I Still Care? Number five, who had the hit 60s country song, She Thinks I Still Care? Number six, what boat term would you use when one portion of your cigar burns hotter and faster than the other, particularly beginning with a narrow strip? Number six, what boat term would you use when one portion of your cigar burns hotter and faster than the other, particularly beginning with a narrow strip? Number seven, the dull frosty or satiny shine found on uncirculated coins is known as what two-word phrase? Number seven, the dull frosty or satiny shine found on uncirculated coins is known as what? Number eight, in the opening lines of Top Gun, what two call signs are mentioned in the sky along with Maverick and Goose? Number eight, in the opening lines of Top Gun, what two call signs are mentioned in the sky along with Maverick and Goose? Question number nine, when Al Cervic roasts the judge's hat in the golf pro shop in Caddyshack, he mentions that the hat probably comes with free what? Number nine, when Al Cervic roasts the judge's hat in Caddyshack, he mentions that the hat comes with free what? 
And number 10, who were the Chicago Cubs playing during the Steve Bartman blocked catch incident in 2003? Wow, that was 20 years ago. Number 10, who were the Cubs playing during the Steve Bartman block catch incident of 2003? Those are all your questions today, my good friend Stephen, for your birthday bash from John. We'll be right back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to Stephen's trivia quiz. Lots of fun stuff on here. Uh, Stephen's very much into coin collecting and cigars in 50s and 60s country, so I tried to cover all the bases recommended by John. Here's number one. What singer-songwriter wrote the music for the comedy film Three Amigos? That was Randy Newman, legendary uh, songwriter Randy Newman. Number two, who what? <laughs> I said who and what at the same time, and it came out who what? What is the two letter stock symbol for Coca Cola? It's K O, like the knockout uh, term, K O. Number three, what camera company's D3X model used the slogan, The World is Your Studio? Nikon, Nikon. Number four, what's the only major that Sam Sneed didn't win in his career? The US Open, the US Open. Number five, who are the hit 60s country song? She thinks I still care. George Jones. George Jones. Number six, what boat, boat term would you use when one portion of your cigar burns hotter and faster than the other, particularly beginning with a narrow strip? That is canoeing. Canoeing. Number seven, the dull frosty or satiny shine found on uncirculated coins is known as mint luster. Mint luster. Number eight, in the opening Lines of Top Gun, what two call signs are mentioned in the sky along with Maverick and Goose? Cougar and Merlin. Cougar and Merlin and Maverick and Goose. Number nine, when Al Cervic roasts the judge's hat in Caddyshack, he mentions that the hat probably comes with free soup, free bowl of soup. Number 10, who were the Chicago Cubs playing during the Steve Bartman block catch incident of 2003? That was the Florida Marlins. Could have cost them the World Series that year. Who knows for sure? but it's in the history books as a uh, pretty infamous thing. All right, that is uh, your quiz for today. Stephen, hope you had a great time playing along. Thanks for being born. And John, thanks for reaching out to customize that episode for your friend. Uh, if you want to do that for your friend, your wife, your anniversary, her birthday, his promotion, whatever you want to promote or um, celebrate, reach out to me, ryanbuds at gmail.com. It's 50 bucks on Venmo or PayPal, ryan-buds on Venmo, ryanbuds at gmail.com on PayPal. And make sure you send with your payment or in a separate email, the five to 10 topics you want me to write questions on for that person and any special messages you want me to relay to that person and uh, what day of the week, Monday through Friday, you'd like it to go out if there's a certain day in your head. Uh, support the show by grabbing some swag this week. There will be brand new t-shirts, bags, hats, all kinds of fun stuff in my Etsy store. So I'm gonna put probably three to five new things in there. Check it out, etsy.com slash shop slash trivia with buds. The new Macho Man logo is gonna be a t-shirt finally. I think I'm gonna make some tank tops and some regular ones for the nice weather, hopefully coming up for everybody in the next few months. And um, what was the other thing? There was one more thing, Etsy shop. Oh, I'm ordering just all kinds of new promotional stuff. So if there's anything specific, you're like, oh, I'd love a Trivia with Buds bandana. <laughs> that would be perfect for uh, all my wrestling listeners, uh, wrestling fans. But if you need something specific, let me know. I can always add it. I use a website called Printful and there's like over 250 or 500 products you can design to look however you want. So uh, if there's something you want, let me know. I'll try and get it in there. Uh, and you can always support the show by joining the Patreon page, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Fact of the day is a shrimp's heart is in its head. If you didn't know that, now you know. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for celebrating Stephen's birthday. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with buds. Cheers. Cheers.